in a state like Iowa, you could write the algorithm I've talked about really easily um, for, for like this voting system. All you really have to do is you have a data structure that's like an array or something. And then um, you find out the last, you take the hash of the last item in the array, which is easy. You just map to it and, or, or you just call dot last. Um, and then you use that and you add it to the votes and then you hash th and then, and then, and, and, um, and then, um, you, you add that to the end of the array and, and it like, just by having that hash in it, you, you can like, cause it, it's just an array of JSON like strings, I think. I think I think it'd be pretty easy to write. Uh, uh, so um, you wouldn't even need to do complex data structures because you have so few v votes. Um, I think maybe I don't know. Um, but I, I didn't I did I did see that um, all the delegates are accounted for. So I lost in Iowa and. Um, that means no one has to worry about <clears throat> liquidity in the short term um, re, the, the, in, in the repo in the repo market um, all right so um, that's the thing I, I really do wonder uh, if um, Pete Buttigieg has any clue what he's doing um, but I, I do understand why people wouldn't want to vote for me. Um, but I, I do believe, no matter what, that um, the president doesn't exist in a bubble. And so even if Donald Trump's a Russian spy, he's a, he's a Russian spy in a box. And I'm not saying he is, but uh, no matter what, if, if you like me president, I'd be a president in a box, a Secret Service box. And all right, so... The Secret Service guy I met, he went to Harvard, and I think he went to Harvard with the other guy that's in charge of the Secret Service cybersecurity. I feel like everyone's from Harvard, and um, I, I don't fully appreciate that. I, I always thought that everyone would be from Georgetown. I guess they're from both, but Georgetown sure seems... Maybe, maybe Georgetown used to be super important. I know Joe Biden's from Georgetown. Um, all right, so... Um, why can't you guys write pretty simple code? Because I'm not even talking about a complex data structure. I'm just talking about like, um, just talking about an array where you're taking the hash of the last item in the array and then you're using that in your um, object, which doesn't even have to. It, it could just be an array of strings. I mean, I'm I, I'm not talking about like even an array of objects um, because eventually it is going to be a string and. I mean, it could be obviously it would it could be an array of vote objects, They're like it's like a li list of who you voted for, but um, it might be, but but eventually it will be t turned into a string, um, and so um, I don't think this. I think I, I I'm like saying like this is a algorithm I invented. It's a very it's very basic code, so I don't understand why. The Democratic Party, combined with Harvard, who reviewed the code, I just I just saw it. The app's code was reviewed by Harvard, so um, you guys reviewed the code. Apparently, you can't write the code that I I came up with. I mean, why would you be concerned with anonymizing the data? Is that is that the concern? Um, I, I'm pretty sure that no one would know who had the vote, anyways. And during an Iowa caucus, everyone kind of that's like like the fact that you couldn't figure out who who gets a delegate blows my mind because everyone's don't they have to stand together and then you know exactly who got the delegates by the time you go home at night it's really confusing so um this whole app problem i don't know i i i, I just like no matter what you're it's going to be really hard to convince me that these people that have okay that there are people in charge of the United States government who will rig an election that publicly. Like uh, it's, I just don't believe it because I don't believe it because I don't, I don't actually believe it because I, I just don't because I don't, which means only the government hears what I'm saying. And so 
I, I really am wondering, like, can you just put a plug it, put a finger in Bank of New York Mellon, and be like, everything's fine. Like, trust me, <laughs> these company, like, do do it does that um, make the problem worse? But the gum, but um, can you do, can you do that indefinitely? Does it get really scary? Because I I, I don't I don't I, I guess I maybe I just don't understand how stocks all move together. I mean, I just, I don't understand why they are. Like, I don't understand why that is. I was just like, today's a good day. All the stocks are dead together. It's like, okay, at some point, is it about loans? Is, it, is everything leveraged? I know everything's leveraged. I know everything's leveraged, leveraged now, but I mean, but do, is everything more leveraged than I realize? And if so, like, is it helping? Like, it, especially because we're leveraging in ways that aren't beneficial. Like it's one thing to leverage with Tesla because that's a, that's like a, it's like funding for research. It's a, it's another thing to leverage with someone that you're not using funding for research on. 